Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn some useful words and phrases we can use for our pets through episode 23 of Run BTS. Are you ready to learn? 저희가 이곳에 특별한 친구들을 만나러 왔다고 들었습니다. 그 친구들과 함께 할수 있도록 또 도와주실 분들이 왔다고 하는데요. 일단은 그 분들을 한번 모셔보도록 하겠습니다. 자, 나와주세요. 제이홉 starts by calling in the dog trainers and the dogs will be the partners for the BTS members in this episode. 와 함께 할 그런 친구들도 한번 같이 소개를 한번 해볼까요? 강아지 나왔어요. 강아지들. 자 우리 친구들이 다 모인 것 같은데. 감사합니다. The increase in single households in South Korea has also led to an increase in pets. Koreans have cute names for dogs, such as the following. 강아지, 멍멍이, 강쥐, 털 친구, 댕댕이. 털 means hair or fur, and 친구 means friend. So 털 친구 means furry friend. 댕댕이 is a cute term that is normally used by young people for puppies or dogs. What do you think 댕청미 남친 means? 댕 in 댕청미 comes from dang dang, which is a cute way to refer to a dog, while chong comes from mong chong han, which means silly. Mi is the hanja, which is the Chinese character in the traditional writing system that means beauty or charm. Nam chin is short for nam ja chingu, which means boyfriend. So, dang chong mi nam chin means a boyfriend with a charm as cute as a puppy. Mong mong is the way to describe the sound a dog makes in Korean. It's like saying woof woof in English. The dog trainers are introducing their dogs here. For a long time, Korean society has had trendy dog breeds that define different time periods. Yorkshire Terriers and Shih Tzus were popular breeds in the 1990s due to media influence, such as pets owned by celebrities. <laughs> 그럼 바로 다음 친구. Welsh Corgi started to become popular about 10 years ago. Koreans know that Queen Elizabeth has Welsh Corgis, so it's a very well-known dog breed. 그럼 바로 다음 친구. 아, 저희가 좀 아는 아는 종인 것 같아요. 비숑 비숑 비숑. 아 코들이에요? 미안 미안하다. 미안하다. 코들이에요? These days, the Bichon Frise is the most popular breed. Many people in South Korea have Bichons and Poodles because they don't shed as much. <laughs> Border Collies are widely recognized as being the smartest dog breed in the world. RM suddenly says, hold on. He asked the members, does your 반려견 have any special skills? 반려견 is an important term to learn. It means companion. Koreans use the term companion for animals because they are more than just pets. Korean society's awareness of animal welfare has continued to improve. 반려인 means companion animal owner. If you add 자 to the end, you would get 반려자 This means life partner, such as wife, husband, or partner. Let's go back to RM's question. 저희... 손, 어... 저희... Jungkook answered son. Son means hands, but here it's referring to paw. It's like saying to a dog, give me your paw. <laughs> RM says that his dog, Ratmoni, doesn't even know. <laughs> this means come here in Korean. <laughs> J-Hope says, my dog Mickey can high five. <laughs> Sugar says, my dog Holly can do b bowing. <laughs> Jungkook received a prize for winning the quiz game. He got Gang Aji Gang Shik. Gang Shik means treats. So he received dog treats. Yes! <laughs> All right, the BTS members are sharing their feelings with their dog partners. We refer to this as gyogam. The word also means vice principal of a school, such as elementary, middle, or high school. So, 강아지와 주인이 교감하다 means the owner is sharing their feelings with their dog. 
우리 홀리랑 리자 돌림이구나. 어, 홀리랑 미리. 미리 미리 오세요. 미리 와. 미리 와. 미리 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 여기. 미리 와. 미리 미리 여기 여기. 아! 여기. Here, you see Miri the poodle who becomes Jungkook's partner. We often say 총총총총 when talking about our dogs. It's an onomatopoeia. It sounds really cute, doesn't it? 총총 means to walk with quick and short steps. It's normally used to express the way dogs and babies walk. 누리야, 누리. 누리. 제일 똑똑한 강아지, 제일 똑똑한 강아지. 누리, 누리야, 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 누리야. 아! 나 아니야, 나? 여기, 여기. 저, 저, 오! 누리야, 일로 Ah, J-Hope's partner is a border collie. He says to his dog, Chal Hae So. This is the most commonly used compliment we give our dogs in Korea. Chal Hae So means good job or well done. You can also think of it as saying to a dog, good boy or good girl. <laughs> Here, you can see Sugar patting his dog on the head. We can learn another onomatopoeia here. Stam, stam. It means to pat someone with care. This is a really common expression you can use for your pets or even babies. V says, Chopaya, iriwa. In English, it means, Come here, Chopa, wa is the imperative verb for oda, which means to come. <laughs> Sugar tells his dog, <laughs> this means lie down. <laughs> Jungkook says to his dog, anja, which means sit. <laughs> v says, <laughs> this means follow or follow me. <laughs> 기다려, 기다려. Jimin tells his dog, 기다려. This means wait. 굴러. V says, 굴러. This means roll. 아, 일어서. <웃음> 아니, 잘했어요. Jungkook says, 일어서. This means stand up. 왜요? 다들 어떠세요? 저는 거의, 거의, 저 천재견입니다, 천재견. 얘가 집을... J-Hope says that his dog is Almost a 천재견. 천재 means genius, and 견 means dog. So we're saying that his dog is practically a genius because his dog is so smart. We usually use this phrase when we want to brag about our pets. <laughs> 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 Here's another training phrase. The word haosu is pronounced the same way in Korean as the English word house. It means go back to your bed or house. However, some people say 들어가. This means go inside. We say this when we want our dog to go in its kennel. The Run BTS episode explains that this means that the dogs can rest in their own unique spaces. Come on, let's go. 가져와. 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 Here, Sugar says, 가져와. This means bring it back to me or fetch. We usually say this when we throw a ball really far away and want our dog to bring it back to us. That's all for today. We hope you learned some helpful words and phrases that you can use with your pets. Are there any other things you'd like for us to explain from other Run BTS episodes? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.